What up, YouTube? It's your boy Savio back again with another reaction video. I actually decided to split the reaction to the UGG song and the reaction to this explained video by what is growing now to be one of my favorite new youth or new to me YouTube channels, DKDKTV, uh, explained by a Korean. They do a lot of great explanations, but I decided to split these two videos up because I looked and I was like, oh, whoa, this video could get kind of long. Your boy be talking a lot, especially because their video in and of itself is like 14 to 15 minutes long. So that plus, you know, my little anime references and rants and whatever, plus me ranting over the rapping in the actual song, which I'm assuming you have seen by this point. If not, why are you watching this and you haven't watched that yet? What are you doing? What are you doing? But I figured that the video would get kind of long, so I decided to split it up. Uh, I don't know if I'll premiere them back to back or if I'll do them on separate days yet. Whatever happens, know that it happened for a reason. And hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that video, but hopefully you enjoyed this video more because I don't have a reason why. I, I don't know. I started that joke without an ending. I'm sorry. It, it happens sometimes. I'm not going to cut this out either. You need to know that this, this, this happens, okay? This funny don't come on command. In real life, sometimes... You just walk off the plank like a pirate. So we go, I'm gonna be Jack Sparrow. You gonna look at me and do do this, you know, be very disappointed and we just gonna make it work. Okay, into the reaction. Go. another clever song from the BTS rap line spitting out fire just like dang but if you thought this song was to diss haters and crush them well I would say that is maybe like 50% right it's actually deeper than that so let's dive into the real meaning of the song <laughs> So Suga starts out with saying that the haters are starting to get triggered again and they get triggered so fast that even before the actual fuel is poured they ignite and burn themselves. It means that haters overreact and blow things out of proportion with the smallest details. Hmm. I would know nothing about that. No, I'm just playing. No, that's actually really clever. And again, fuel ignition i mean this is this is pairing very well with my theme from the last video which is that this would have made a great racing track if this is on some racing game somewhere dude like if you guys comment that tell me that i would be so happy because like this song fits so well with a racing game and in that process they don't know that they're actually hurting themselves with all the negativity <laughs> Now he's being sarcastic and calling the haters a pro, a player that enters the ring with a trivial little flaw and keeps on biting on that and doesn't let go, making a big fuss out of it. So Dongnebuk is literally translated into neighborhood drum. This is a Korean expression that means a drum that anybody can hit on, basically meaning an easy target or person to shit on. Dung 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 is how Koreans pronounce the sound of a drum. The haters keep on poking with no reason, like a boxing player that keeps on jabbing. And if Suga keeps on ignoring them, they start to stab him. This expression, tamgoborida, is actually a very hardcore slang used by Korean gangs when they stab people with knives. The original word, tamgoda, would mean to put an object into a liquid, usually used in terms of kimchi or salted seafood called chokgar. The common thing among these foods is that they are all red, liquidy, and they go inside jars afterwards for fermentation. <laughs> So you can see why gangs would use this word in that kind of way. And pu is a word that expresses the action of stabbing into something very deep and powerfully. I love how he... Like, you know, when you see... Spelling bees, and you see 
They'd be like, oh, can you use it in a sentence? I love when they clip these like little like movies. I'm assuming these are movies or maybe they're K-dramas. I don't know. I, I, I don't recognize these. But when they clip the word or the phrase being used and give you context to it, it makes way more sense. I have not seen this, but this kind of looks like Asian Godfather. And so I'm interested. If you know what this is, you know, give me, give me a little plot summary and, and link it down below. Now notice that the mimetic words dung dung dung, tuk tuk, and puk puk all rhyme with ook and each other and they all escalate by each line from hitting a drum to jabbing and stabbing. So haters start off trying to tease and make fun of Suga, but when he doesn't respond, they start jabbing and stabbing him. The truth becomes a lie, a lie becomes the truth. It's funny to see everyone suddenly becoming a morally perfect and flawless human being. And yeah, I know a little bit about this too, and it seems like the typical characteristics of many online communities and platforms with people that have nothing better to do in real life than spread hate towards others. Get a life, guys. Ooh, shit! Ooh! I actually like him clapping back at his haters because, as you know, if you've been following me, I love to do that. I I talk. Like, I don't care. You want to talk? We can talk. Like, I, I'll give you the business. I do not care. So, uh, I like him clapping back at his haters. I think that's dope. I'm sure haters didn't like it. You know, he, he might be talking about you. If you salty, you might need to self-assess. But, yeah, I, I don't get why... People hate BTS so much. Like, I I haven't been a part of this fandom enough to understand. And I, I don't want to say, oh, it's all jealousy. Like, they're just mad. Like, it's probably mostly that. But, like, I want to know, like, reasons. Like, why? What does the jealousy stem from? Because I know they started out very small. So you're not hating on someone who you think you're better than, who is very small, who's very beneath you, unless you're Bakugo. But that's that's us. That's... that's he got a whole other set of issues that we can't talk about right now. So if you guys could explain that to me some more, because they're making a lot of these songs about their haters, and I know they have them. I have them, and I'm one a millionth time as famous as these guys. So I know that they have them. I'm just curious as to why, so I can better understand the song clapping back at said haters. Guys, RM states that rage is an actual emotion that is sometimes needed. He says that people have the right to get mad at certain things, and that might be our history. The word history can be used in general terms, as in a nation or the world's history, or in terms of BTS themselves, like how their success and legacy was motivated and accomplished through anger. But overall, RM acknowledges the fact that rage can likely change the world. Now, Korea is a nation full of rage against many surrounding countries that invaded and colonized our land. Also, don't forget the most recent incident of rage impeached our former president as well. But he says that the anger that heads towards him is not punno, rage, but punyo, human waste, pee pee and poo poo. He says that haters are actually killing anger with their- <laughs> Yo, this man's so clever, bro. Like, come on now, bro. American school systems ain't this good, bro. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. We- Who does this? Like, bro, that's so clever. Like, come on now. They're fake anger, and numerous people are tired of that. This means that the useless negative energy or anger about stupid things haters throw around in the world is actually devaluating the power and impact of the word anger. RM keeps on going by saying that your anger is not just killing us, we're used to that shit anyways. But the real problem is that people are getting insensitive about the emotion anger itself, since it's so normalized and thrown towards them and in every direction. He keeps on going by saying that human waste and indifference is a team, which is what the haters are and deserve. That's true though! Internet culture is like refined toxicity. We as a culture, have kind of just accepted the fact that every YouTube, every YouTube video comment section that you go into 
there's going to be some idiots throwing racial slurs, throwing homophobia, throwing religious hatred and religious jargon. There are, there's a lot of craziness that happens on the internet that we've kind of just accepted like, yeah, that's, that's, that's the internet for you. That's what happens if you, if you don't like it, then suck it up. And that's, that's not, that's not normal. Cause these are keyboard warriors are people who say things that they would not say in person to someone's face. You would not walk up to someone and tell them to kill themselves. So why would you write them a hate letter and say, hey, band who I don't like because you're selling more albums than the band I do like, kill yourself. Why? Why? Then the rap line goes, ooh. Ook is a Korean term that describes the state of blood suddenly rushing to your head in a second right after you see something infuriating. It's usually used towards people who don't know how to keep their temper and are hot-headed. BTS cleverly translated Ook into Ook, very similar to how it sounds in English. And it also gives that feeling of a sudden disgust or frustration. Then why does the rap line suddenly feel angry? Because of the haters? Well, not exactly. They're actually mad because of the anger that contains malice. At this point, they don't care about what haters shit on them anymore. They're angry about the fact that this pure emotion called anger is being used in such a malicious way to hurt them or others which result in nothing else but harm. It doesn't change the world or history and that's why they bring up the word punyo, human waste, because anger is becoming wasted. <laughs> That's so true though, like, people spend way, way, way more time on the internet calling each other all types of slurs for every demographic and category that exists and being mad over this person doing this and this person not doing that and this person doing this better than that instead of actually putting, you know, energy towards important stuff like Politics. Now don't get me wrong. Politics can definitely be toxic too, but that's its own separate discussion that we're not having right now. The point is that attacking them or any other person online does not help you change anything. It doesn't change that person, doesn't change what they're doing, doesn't change their success, and it doesn't affect change on a global scale. y'all do to them what y'all he mad he is mad he is shooting at y'all the shade is real okay he he not just mad for no reason please i know i y'all did something because he is taking shots at y'all for real hand on the bible testify what did you do what did you, i want to know tell me the t i wants to know please stop shitting on twitter and throwing your anger at random people and make that anger useful and make yourself useful in general, they go on promoting anger. They say be angry about things that are not just in this society. However, to the haters, this line has a sarcastic double meaning. It's basically saying, yeah, go off, go off as much as you can until you become ashes and break yourself. Whatever, I don't give a f J-Hope continues to say that he understands that anger is a powerful emotion that moves and rules the world. But then he says that some people these days just can't live without being angry. They're just too angry at every single little thing and they go crazy with it. They're like, ooh. Once again, he points. 
points out that there are thousands of reasons to get angry about. Either if it's for good or bad, it is anger. He says that unleashing your anger is okay, but he doesn't like the anger that harms other people's lives. So he urges haters to stop that. The shade, boy. If y'all don't tell me what y'all did to this man, he's so mad. This whole video is just basically him talking back to y'all. I hope you can see that because I can see it and I don't even know what happened. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. This man is so mad. Yo, he he trying so hard to get through this video, but he's so mad at y'all. Like, it's, it's period. Point blank, period. I was, also, I like that this song isn't telling you not to ever be angry because it's an emotion. You feel it for a reason. You're supposed to feel it. However, there are time, there's a time and a place for everything. And most of the time, most of the time, Getting mad at some random stranger on the internet, probably not the place for that. Like, let's let's be honest. Pick and choose your times of anger is this this song's point that I'm getting, and I like that. So someone's actions can hurt someone, and someone's words can make someone lose hope, and someone's blink of an eye can become a moment for someone. Someone's anger can cost even the life of someone. Sugar spits out of disgust. Although these lines are universal and it applies to all of us, here in particular in this song, because they went to the extent of mentioning a life, personally, I think they had in mind of the tragic incidents that happened in K-pop last year. Stupid and useless actions, words, mockery, and anger were wasted on such meaningless things about idols and celebrities that some of these celebrities were forced to make a very unfortunate decision. If you think this is a stretch, then you should listen to the next verse. This part is an impersonation of haters and netizens. These jobless people keep on saying stuff such as, what's the big deal about getting some insults? You guys deserve it because you guys make a whole lot of money anyways. So stop complaining. It's a Before he finishes, I can kind of see where this is going. I don't know what happened, but I, I, I see the path this is leading down. And um, yeah, yeah, nah, I hate that. I, I'm, I'm still a broke boy, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I. I don't be making no money off these videos, and I think that that's a stupid mindset. Money, just like people say money doesn't buy happiness, money does not protect you from hate, especially when that hate is magnified over the course of millions of people from all over the world, everywhere you go, telling you that you're worthless and that you suck and blah, 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 spitting all this hatred at you that you're ugly in the case of some people. Like, that's, that's toxic, and money does not fix that. Fame does not fix that. In fact, the fame part makes it worse just suck it up. This is the common logic that many netizens would say whenever a celebrity brought up how they are suffering from or are planning to sue hate comments. Try me. Just let me be in your place. Let me be an idol and I'd be able to deal with all of that is what the haters keep on saying justifying the hate comments and undermining the pain celebrities have just because they profit out of publicity. Then the haters say the word ahem. Now this sound or word is used in English as well, simply to clear out your throat. I called that. I so called that. I so called that. Throat. Or show that you're present or give an invisible message to somebody who's dumb, who's not able to read the atmosphere. Or to nullify the awkwardness after saying something embarrassing and odd like. <clears throat> Something like that. Anyways, as you see a lot of ahems in this part, I would say that all the usages in context would actually fit in. However, just to add one extra point of view as a Korean, the sound ahem was mostly used by yangban or gundes in Korea. So yangban is a privileged noble class during the Goryeo Joseon dynasty that knew how to read Chinese and study Confucianism and were superior in class to all the other classes such as mechanics, merchants, farmers, and slaves. These yangbans would use the word 
<clears throat> in diverse situations like when they needed their servants or when they would scold them or try to show off their nobleness. <laughs> Also, Gonde basically means a boomer in the workspace where someone older than you that tries to force their way without any logic or reasonable reason just by the fact that they're born earlier than you. These Gondes casually use ahem to give nunchi, which is a Korean thing that basically means figure out what I mean or what I want without me having to say it with my own mouth. The magic word would be ahem. And everybody would have to shut up and comply. So the word ahem has a complex usage and nuance in it. But basically, it would be best if you understood it as these internet keyboard warriors who think they are morally perfect, better than you, sitting on their high horses, trying to shush you and give you nunchi and say, suck it up. Ahem, 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 ahem. So yeah, you could replace the ahems with the words like, suck it up, get over with it, or shut up. <laughs> While BTS is receiving all these ahems, if you listen carefully to the tone they're rapping with, you can feel a sense of sarcasm, which means at one point, BTS is saying the same thing, ahem, vice versa to the haters as well. <laughs> This song is mainly about BTS's anger against how people these days waste their precious anger, emotions, time, and energy in stupid things like mocking celebrities, BTS, and internet figures, and on, which sometimes lead to tra- Internet figures and on? This man is mad. He mad. Y'all did something. If you ain't told me what you did, you better tell me right now. I want to know. Get in that comment section and tell me what you did. Nah, that's funny though. He's he mad. There is some tea here. I want to know it. I I won't be messy. Let me know. Let me. Cause I know y'all know. I know it has something to do with BTS. Cause he would not be going this hard on a BTS video if it didn't have something to do with Army, BTS, or some some else in that realm. I want to know when this anger could actually be used in a revolutionary way to bring change in history or positivity. Therefore, Ook is not a direct diss song about the haters because it seems like BTS has elevated to a level where they don't even care anymore about human trash. It's bigger than the haters. It's a declaration about the emotion anger itself and a lament on the modern day social contextual usage or waste of anger. <laughs> Y'all did something. Y'all in trouble. Ooh, I'm telling. Nah, that was great though. I like I like the song. The song was deep. I don't think rapping wise it was as complex as the last song, even though the actual flow was much more complex for all three of them than the last song. I mean, Sugar always coming hard, but you know what I'm saying. But the message is still important, just like the last song. And it's a response to haters, but it's also a response to just toxic internet culture and toxic societal culture. And I think that's dope. I, I, I like it a whole lot. I've recently received a lot more, at least internet hate than in the past so i can definitely get why some people even not on my dang video just in other comment sections recommended that i listen to the song because it make me feel better and it did but this video oh man oh i want to be messy y'all gonna have to this about to be gossip girl zoe 101 one tree hill all that in the comment section you gonna have to let me know what happened because he was mad I, I might need to d him him myself as if he need a hug because that was bad. That was real bad. He was sending shots the whole video, and I'm here for it because I'm petty. I'm petty. I'll be petty with y'all. I don't care. 
That was funny. I like it. I'm doing, next time somebody send me some hate, I'm doing that. I'm gonna do a whole little video, sending micro shots at you the whole time. I'm, I'm gonna be subtweeting you in my video. That's what's finna happen. We are here for the petty. Yes. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share, all that, and we will see you next time, guys. Peace. Petty Crew out.